Well, here we go. First try with the new washing machine. Our washer broke down about two weeks ago and we ordered a new washer and dryer from Costco, which is going to be another two weeks until it gets here. So about a month without a washer. We've been going to the laundromat, but I'm trying to design something for small loads. So I've got a cement mixer and I just had to go buy some bucket lids. I was I had buckets, but no lids. So I went ahead and bought a bucket too to make sure it was the right size for the lid. And uh, that's it. Let me give it a try and see what happens. For the first load, I'm going to be washing a couple of socks, uh, my gloves that I use on the bicycle, and my little cap I ride on the bicycle. It's going to be a pretty small load, just a test load. Okay, now I'm going to put in a little bit of soap. Uh, a little bit of soap, not too much, I hope. Oh, it'd be good to look at the soap and not the camera. You might see what you're doing. All right, turn on the water, try not to get wet. And I just put a little water in my new washing machine. There we go, oh, that stuff's gonna be so clean. Uh, we still have the dryer. I'll say that in a minute. Yeah, we still have the dryer, uh, just the washing machine went bad. And I might post a couple pictures of it. I tried to fix it. It was a, a pretty big job all in of itself. It needed, um, I did do some repair a year ago and it went on pretty good, but then the bearing and the drum went out and that was a pretty big re repair job. I had to take every part of that washing machine, I had to tear the whole thing down the part that needed replaced was the very last part in the washing machine and I had bought the bearings on Amazon about a year prior and of course uh, I knocked out the old bearings and then we got time to put in the new ones they were the wrong size and the machine was probably debatable if it would have still ran so I uh, just went ahead and ordered new ones so let me load this up in there and see how it goes Okay, I've got the bucket loaded up in the cement mixer. I had to bend the uh, metal blades a little bit to get the bucket to fit inside. And I put the lid on, which brand new lid, so I had to rip the tabs off it. And it seemed like it went on pretty good. It's got a nice rubber seal. Let's we'll see what this washing machine slash cement mixer can do. Hit the switch. And look at that, there she goes. And for a uh, turbo wash, I can probably put it down a little more. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know, probably gonna let it go for about 10 minutes and then we'll open it up. That's the view of the washing machine going from inside the house. I can still hear it a little bit and for some reason I see a little dust coming off it. Maybe uh, inside still got some dirt. I'll have to clean it out. And I'm gonna let it go for about five minutes. No waters came out of it. And the bucket seems like it's moving. Oh, I see a little water. I need to go out there. Let's go check it. Unless that's dirt. Could be uh, suds. Yeah, a little bit of suds coming out. Not bad. As long as no dirt's going in. Still going good. Um, I think that's probably enough. Let's see what happens. Oh, it stopped it at the bottom. Yeah, it's leaking a little water. Nothing like 
You know, I've got new washing machines before that have leaked, so that's nothing new. Let's uh, put it at the top, and then I'll crank this back up so my bucket's semi-upright. Well, let's go for that. Uh, straight, I think straight up and down will be easier to pull it out. Let's see if I could film this without getting cut. Yeah, I figured this handle would get caught up in here a little bit. It's got it. Now, is it going to come out? Because I put it in here without the lid on. So I might have to take this lid off. Let's see how easy that comes off. Got it. A little dirt got in there, but I'm going to rinse it out. And there it is. Smells just like a washing machine. Actually, my last washing machine was a front loader. It didn't smell that good most of the time. Had that little issue with the mold in the door. Let's see. And this. The key to this washer is to not cut your hands when you're using it. There we go. It's coming out, coming out. Got it. Okay, I think what I'll do is, uh, yeah, the water looks a little dirty. I'm not sure if that's dirt that fell in it from the cement mixer or dirt from the clothes. Anyways, well, I'm going to rinse these out, get all that soap out of them, and then uh, put them in the dryer and see how they come out. And that's it. That's my new washing machine, at least for the next two weeks. Next time I'm going to do a larger load. Uh, this was just a test load. And like I said, I still have the dryer, so I will uh, rinse these out and dry them. I have some clean clothes for my bike ride tomorrow. Thanks for watching.